What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes and today I'm gonna be taking on Legion's Grand Hero Battle and I'll be giving you guys three infernal solutions. The first one is gonna be my main free to play solution which does not use any kind of skin items. The second one is pseudo free to play because of Brave Lynn. And the third one is not at all free to play but using that you can clear the infernal map in a way that you will not have to face any kind of annoying reinforcements. So let's begin with my first solution. So I've got free to play units and I've got Olivia here with her vanilla skill set and Fiorm is of course here you just need to give her HP plus 3 secret seal and then we have got legendary Ike. And he just has his default skill set and at last I've got Stall and you need to give him home speed 1 secret seal. And Stall is a pretty common unit and he's also a free to play unit. Do not run quicker post on your legendary Ike or on your Fiorm because we want to play in such a way that we can leave those legions alive so that we can um, delay the reinforcements because if you go super hyper offensive on this map then it could um, end up in your own demise if you're not too careful because... These uh, units, if they go down, they will trigger reinforcements. So you have to play in a way that you can delay the reinforcements. And uh, I've got Legendary Ike. He needs to have the home speed support to double this bow fighter. He has got 27 speed and Stahl has got home speed sacred sealed. So he's going to be providing um, the home speed support to Legendary Ike. And you need to break this obstacle. Uh, when this map first came out, they actually forgot to put the defensive tiles here. Um, they were still there, but they were just not visible. So... They gave us like 5 or 10 orbs as a, as a compensation, I think. It was 5 or 10, yeah. Alright, so Fiorm is going to be taking out this Blue Cavalier. And if this Blue Cavalier goes down, he will be um, spawning a reinforcement here on bottom. And if this Red Mage goes down, then he's going to be spawning a reinforcement um, up here, I think. Alright, so you just want to put your Legendary Ike over here because we want this bow fighter to move over the non-defensive terrain and then he will go down. Let's so, go. let's attack Legion with stall. He did panic us, so that's why we did less damage on the second time. And Fiorm can just take him out. And from here... Legendary I can pretty much just take on all of these units. Um, when this first came out, we didn't have free to play units like Fiarm and Legendary Ike, so it was definitely much harder to figure this out. And now we also have upgraded Sacred Seals that we can use. So uh, this used to be one of the hardest maps um, as Grand Hero Battle. So down goes that bow fighter. He was so annoying because he had Death Blow and also Brave Bow. And here we can come and take out this Legion. And you want to take out this blue mage with your Fiorm. You and now we can just put stall over here. Make sure you do not have quick repost on your Ike because like I said, uh, we do need to delay the reinforcements. If he takes out all of the legions, um, then you will just get swarmed by reinforcements. And here we can just... Yes. Attack this guy and take him out with Fiorm and move Ike and stall over here. Now, this Lance Cavalier has got lunch, so definitely watch out for that. Let's go. And he's going to be doing 15 damage and he's going to lunge us. And Legendary Ike has got his Ether ready, so let's just take him out. And now we can take on this Blue Cavalier with the help of uh, Fiorm. But you do need HP plus 3 Sacred Seal to survive ahead from this guy because he has got life and death. All right. So let's put Legendary Ike over here out of the range of this Blue Cavalier. Yeah, so we just survive barely with 1 HP and that's definitely a very close call. What next? And now we can just take care of this last Legion. I really wish they played uh, Tearing Shadows music. Whenever you face Legion in this Grand Tour battle, that would have been so epic. And uh, let's finish this off with a special. I'm gonna be turning on the animations. And let's take out this Legion with Ike. I'll strike you down with one blow. Alright, so that was the first Inferno solution with completely free to play units and uh, no skin and no version 3 Sacred Seals. 
So let's move on to our second Inferno solution, and this one uses Brave Lynn. So I've got Brave Lynn here with neutral IVs and completely vanilla skill set, and this can even work with a minus speed or minus attack IV Brave Lynn, and you can just patch that up with a Sacred Seal. She's got um, support with Reinhardt, but he's not really on this battle. And then we have got Cecilia. This is my free-to-play neutral IV Cecilia, but you do have to give her Hone Cavalry 1 from a 4-star free-to-play Gunter, and also Quick Repost 1 Sacred Seal. You do not really need version 3, you just need version 1 to 1 round kill that bow fighter. And then we have got 2 Olivias, both of them just need to have Wings of Mercy 1, and that is pretty much it. You could use other dancers, but make sure you at least have 1 Olivia. Um, because you would need to face a legion with your Olivia. This solution is slightly more expensive because you do need Hone Cavalry on your Cecilia and also Wings of Mercy 1 from a 3-star Pala or Frederick on your Dancers, but that's why I had the No Skeleton solution as my main solution. And this is just for the people um, who have got a Brave Lynn and they can easily do this. If you're going to be going hyper offensive on this map, then make sure you use units like Brave Lynn, who can actually double these legions after uh, the Hone Cavalry buff, because she ends up at 44 speed, and with Swiss Sparrow, it's enough to double these guys. And I'm just going to be putting my Brave Lynn over here and breaking this obstacle with Cecilia. And um, Cecilia is going to be able to one round kill this bow fighter, and you just need Quick Repost 1 for that. And Brave Lynn can actually just take care of these two uh, mages on the map. So let's attack this guy from here and you stance and attack this legion. Now like I said you at least need one Olivia because the Olivia you will be having here will have to take a hit from legion and a blue dancer cannot really um, take him out. So that's why make sure you use at least one Olivia. So here come more reinforcements and we can attack the Sword Cavalier, just take him out and attack this Blue Mage. And you do need the special for taking out this Blue Mage with Draconic Aura. And we're going to be putting Cecilia and Brave Lynn over here. So this guy does have Panic Ploy, so definitely have to watch out for him. And... I can actually just go here and take him out, but I'll yes. just use my Brave Lynn so that I can charge up my special. The enemy. Okay. Yes. So as you can see, Brave Lynn just destroys this map completely. It's insane how good she is on this map. Alright, so here comes this uh, Blue Cavalier. So, uh, okay. Stay close. you just have to put your Brave Lynn over here, right. use Wings of Mercy, and okay. uh, put your Cecilia and Brave Lynn over here. And here we're gonna be trapping him. So let's just put Cecilia over here. Yes. Sure. Let's teleport with Olivia. We just have to attack him with Olivia and we're going to be bullying this uh, blue cavalier quite a lot. All right. Okay, I accidentally just Stay moved close. my Brave Lynn out of that. Orders. Whoops. Okay. And we just have to attack this blue cavalier like this. Alternatively, you could just let him be out of the defensive tile and then attack him, but this is way more fun. And we cannot really take him out with Brave Lynn or Cecilia because he does have life in death and Vantage. So Vantage is really annoying and because of that, we have to trap him. Alright, so let's use Teleportation and take out this Blue Cavalier. And that is going to be my second Infernal Solution with Brave Lynn and Cecilia. It's a free to play friendly solution, but it does take um, a bit of skeletons, and of course it does have Brave Lynn. So let's move on to our third Infernal solution, and this one does not have Legendary Ike, Fee Arm, or Brave Lynn. It just has a 5 star Reinhardt. You could use any kind of Reinhardt as long as he's not minus attack, and you would be fine. Now my Reinhardt is plus to merge, but it doesn't really come into the play 
uh, my Reinhardt just has one more attack than the regular unmerged Reinhardt. And you need to give him Spur, Defense 1, Secret Seal, Death Blow, and also Blazing Thunder, which is a default special. Now, if you do not have Death Blow 3, you could run Death Blow 2 and also use uh, Poison Strike on Slot B. You could definitely do that. And uh, he has got his support with Lin, but she's not going to be on this battle. And then I've got Cecilia with the same skill set, which I used in my second Infernal Solution. And you can just use any kind of Brave Sword unit with Axe Breaker to one round KO um, that Legion. And then I've got female Robin at the end, and you just need to give her Quick and Pulse Sacred Seal. And this is um, not really a free-to-play solution, but it can be accessed by a lot of people because a lot of people do have Reinhardt, especially now that he can appear at 3-star rarity. So let's begin the Infernal difficulty. Magic is everything. And once again, we're going to be doing the same thing with Cecilia, which is to bait out that Go Fighter. And take him out with Cecilia. Alright, so we're going to be moving here and breaking this. And Robin is going to be on this tile so that she can get attacked by this Blue Cavalier. And we can just attack Legion with Reinhardt. And weaken him a lot. All right. So this Blue Cavalier is going to go here and attack female Robin because he does not get taken out. If your female Robin can take out this Blue Cavalier, then he's not even going to approach her. He's just going to be attacking Cecilia. Um, so definitely make sure to use a 4-star female Robin. And uh, we can take out this guy with Cecilia. And attack this Red Mage with... Reinhardt and take out Legion with Ogma or any kind of Brave Sword user really who's got Axe Breaker and at the end we can have Robin take out this Legion. Now if your Robin is not able to finish off this Legion then you probably will have to run something on Slot A or just run Poison Strike on your Reinhardt and uh, right. you can just take out this Legion with Female Robin. And this coming. way we do not have to face any kind of reinforcements because we just took out all of these units. Um, in two turns. So that's the third Infernal Solution. Now let's move on to the Lunatic Solution. So for the Lunatic Difficulty, I'm going to be using this team of free to play units. They do not have any kind of skin dents or any kind of sacred seals. And the Lunatic Difficulty of these Grand Hero Battles do have um, the Grand Hero Elite 2 quest, which require you to beat these maps with certain blessing units. And it's not really possible to make a free to play guide for that because everyone is going to be having different blessings on their different units. And I cannot exactly tell you guys to give a water blessing to a free to play unit like Stall. And even if I tell you that, there is no guarantee that I'm going to be using Stall in other Lunatic Difficulty Grand Hero Battles, so it might even be a waste. So that's why it's really hard to make free-to-play guides for the quests which require blessings, because even if I do, it's not going to be free-to-play friendly, because everyone is going to be having different units with different blessings. But you could definitely use the same approach as my Infernal Solutions and do it. So let's begin the Lunatic Difficulty with this team. Now, the Lunatic Difficulty does not have that much inflated stats and it also has less reinforcements so once again we're gonna be breaking this obstacle with cecilia and she's gonna be getting attacked by this bow fighter and ursula can take on these two mages and not really take them out and if we do take them out then the reinforcements will come so let's use our aoe special to take out this cavalier and then we can just put Ursula over here in the range of this red mage and you swap. Actually, we need to take out this bull fighter first with Cecilia and then you swap so that Cecilia is safe. And now we can take him out with Ursula. And we can move over here and attack okay. this yes. Legion. Weaken him up with uh, Cecilia. And you could honestly just bring some kind of nuke with Axe Breaker. And just annihilate these Legions. Your orders. And I'm going to be using Ursula actually to take out this blue mage. And I can just get some free special charges by attacking this Legion. Yes. 
This guy has got Savage Blow, so he's going to be doing that passive damage. And uh, here comes that Lance Cavalier. Orders. And okay. we can just move Olivia over here so that we can give Ursula the Hoon attack support. And Stahl can easily take them on on the Lunatic difficulty. Yes. And you stance and take out this Lance Cavalier. Let's go. And I'm just gonna be coming here to attack this Legion with my Cecilia, and that is gonna be the end of this Legion. So those were my Infernal and Lunatic solutions, and uh, if you have any kind of trouble, let me know in the comments. I'll try my best to help you, and uh, if you found this helpful and enjoyed this, then please be sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe for more Fire Emblem Heroes content. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.